Even the tomatoes? Uh, of course not. What? The tomatoes. Would you eat them too, or would you break Mrs. Baker's poor little salad-making heart? Well, you don't like tomatoes either. My preference wouldn't matter. I would be dead. And out of the abundance of her soul, Mrs. Baker would have made you a salad. And I wouldn't eat the tomatoes. Neither would you if it was me that had died. You'd, he wouldn't eat anything. You'd be too sad. Huh. I'd go out and party. You don't know me at all. It wouldn't take me more than five minutes to get over your death. I only married you so you'd pay my rent and buy me crab cheese wonton. Oh, really? Yep. Crab cheese wonton is that important to you? Yep. Certainly more important than you. If you died, I'd have a night on the town. Maybe meet some Italian guy and we'd munch on those little cherry tomatoes until dawn. But you wouldn't even eat a single tomato for Mrs. Baker if I died? I think you're a horrible person. I die horribly impaled upon a fence or something and you won't even eat the tomatoes? Well, I'd be very grateful for the salad, but I couldn't stand the impaling of anything on my fork any longer. I would be too traumatized. I'm sure you would be. You'd run to a nice little hottie psychiatrist couch, I'm sure. No, I don't take pills. What? Would you? No, no, I wouldn't eat the tomatoes. Not even if you died and old Mrs. Baker brought me a salad to console me. Not unless she made a big deal of it, but I'm sure she wouldn't. Or maybe I would if it was a tomato salad like they do in Greece, but then tomatoes would be the base of the dish, and so I guess I'd choke it down anyway. But Mrs. Baker's not Greek, she's just old. And you know, I don't like the way you're joking about your death. You're beautiful and I love you, and I love this Chinese place you found, and, and, and these tiny corns? These tiny corns, these I like. But talking of you impaled, I don't like so much, sweetie. You'd find a little something with those little glasses resting way down on her nose, and you'd crawl up onto her couch and tell her all about your horrible wife, horribly impaled like a tomato, and how you never really liked tomatoes. I bet you would, wouldn't you? Yeah. I'd probably need counseling if you died tragically. But that's because I care about you, and I love you, and you're beautiful. Are you done? No, I'm going to eat all the rest and become fatter than I already am. Are you sure you don't want the last wonton? I poisoned it. Mm. There you go, Sam. Thanks, Chris. So, what you learned today? Tons of great stuff. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, still uh, studying turtles? I've never studied turtles. Chris, you can't even remember what the man studies? Shaley. Uh, I mean, don't you value his pursuits at all? Not even enough to remember his course of study? <laughs> T turtles? I thought it was turtles. No, actually. Not at all. I can't believe I married an insensitive man like you. It's tortoises, actually. Tortoises? Come on, jeez. Is there a difference? The toes. Among other things. The toes. Among other things. Well, I'm sorry, but Stan, have you given any thought at all to what we talked about? Yeah, I thought about it a bit. Good. And I understand your concern, and appreciate it, but this really is the life I want. I can't give up studying tortoises. Oh no, see, you wouldn't. You'd have a job, see, and you wouldn't have to give up your study of turtles. Tortoises. It's tortoises, actually. Tortoises, sorry, and the toes. But, see, you, you wouldn't have to give up your study. You just, you just wouldn't have to be a chair anymore. I'm not always a chair. So you're being so unfair. He's not a chair all the time. Sometimes I'm a coat rack. Or a toilet paper dispenser. No, no, you're not getting it, and you're just being difficult. I am hurt. I am looking out for Stan's welfare. <laughs> no, you're not. You're, you're being funny, and I like that, but... I like that, too. Well, thanks, Stan. You're welcome. No, stop. Stop. <laughs> Don't you see that there's something fundamentally wrong with treating someone like a, like a piece of furniture? Not if he's my slave. He's not your slave, though. He's, he, he's a tenant of, of sorts. And you don't believe that he's your slave, either. Are you done with your container? No, I was going to eat it. But I'm seriously concerned with this whole agreement thing. I mean, I know that he just wants to sit around and read about his tortoises or whatever all the time, but I really think that he should be out there somewhere and, and not functioning as an inanimate object. We have a small apartment. Well, we have a very small apartment, but that's not the point. What's your fortune say? Well, I'm checking. 
<laughs> Cookies say you will leave your horrible wife. That's what mine says. I think they got them mixed up. No, mine says uh, gambling will be your road to ruin. Your lucky numbers are 5, 14, 24, 25, 30, and 31. I bet you 20 bucks I switched stars. <laughs> nah, here, let me have your wrapper. <laughs> mm, delightful. <laughs> I think we should rob a bank. Now? Tomorrow. Well, I have to work in the morning, but I could take a coffee break and we could do it then. Yeah, I'll be the driver. Oh, who says you get to drive? I have to. I'll be the suicide bomber occupying the police when things go bad. And besides, you're going to be inside getting the money with your highly attractive and aggressive female accomplice. Well, I thought that uh, maybe you could be my aggressive female accomplice and we wouldn't need a suicide bomber. That would never work. Who would be the driver? Mrs. Baker. Really? Mm-hmm. She could be the suicide bomber, too, if need be. Using poor Mrs. Baker. You are so cold-hearted. I'm a jerk. What can I say? I'd force Mrs. Baker to make us sandwiches and little baggies for the road. And she'd have to use the Ziploc ones, too, not the ones that just fold over. Mayonnaise would get everywhere. I don't think the mayonnaise would keep. And what if she puts tomatoes on the sandwiches? <laughs> then I'd kill her. Impale her on something. More money for us. You're a cold, cruel man. <laughs> Yeah.